Hello everyone, I'm Amanda and this is Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a general love reading for all those concerned with Capricorn and their person. So it's whatever person you're thinking of when you click on this video. Um, and Capricorn could be your sun, moon, or rising signs. Your Venus could be in Capricorn, um, or just any important placement in your chart. Or you could be connecting with a Capricorn, and if that's the case, just be aware that you might have to flip the roles. And if this reading resonates with you, like and comment. You can claim the reading, you can share the reading. Um, and if you like the way that I read and you want to support me, subscribe to my channel. Um, that's a very easy, cheap way to support me, and it's also really encouraging because this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. This is my soul's purpose, and um, every new subscriber is really encouraging and helps me feel like I'm getting closer to my goals. Okay. Can I have a card that represents Capricorn's connection with their person currently, please? Capricorn's connection with their person currently, please. Okay, Eight of Wands. All right, um, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I think you both are really attracted to one another. Um, the Eight of Wands can represent communication. It's very fast moving energy. Um, it's possible that you and this person, this doesn't have to be the case, but it's possible that you and this person are um, at a distance from one another and you might be traveling to one another um, or maybe moving in with one another. You know, this is very rapid change one way or the other. So I do see things shifting for the two of you, um, but it does seem to be really positive. I mean, if you've been going through some struggles right now, I see you both like rising above it as a couple. Um, okay. Can I have a card that represents Capricorn in this connection, please? Capricorn in this connection, please. Ooh, Seven of Wands. This is really interesting. We have the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Wands here. Um, okay, Capricorn, there is, you know, some resistance here. Um, it's possible that maybe you are resisting change. Um, the Seven of Wands... <sighs> It's like kind of a defensive or guarded energy, and that isn't always a negative thing. Like, you know, if if you have um, a lot of like outside noise or input on your connection, I do see you kind of resisting that, defending your connection. Um, but also, I mean, it's possible that you and this person are you know, you're going through some changes, so it's possible that you're resisting that change. Um, but it's also possible that maybe you are resisting this person to some degree. I do think that it might be subconscious, you know. Um, my siblings are Capricorns. Um, my best friend in the world is my little sister, and she is a Capricorn, and I love her so much. Um, but she does have kind of like stubborn tendencies. Um, so do I. <laughs> but I'm also, you know, I have a ton of Capricorn in my chart. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, it does kind of give me like a stubborn energy. Like maybe you and this person um, were at a bit of a standstill, like things weren't changing and now all of that is really shifting. Um, but you know, it's possible that you were kind of holding your ground in some way. Um, the bottom of the deck is the fool here though. This is Aries, this card. And Capricorn, I think like you have kind of been resisting like taking a leap of faith or like going out on a limb in some way in this connection, um, it's possible that it was just, you know, resisting leaning into this change, you know, embracing it. Um, it the fool is embracing the unknown. It's embracing changes. Um, and I think, you know, I think you've kind of been just a little resistant to that. Maybe just a little bit like, um, stuck in your ways. I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean that in like a, like you have been holding your ground, holding your, um, status in this connection, like holding your place. Um, but I think things have changed and this is kind of like a really new start. It's like a blessing. It's very positive, but it does require some faith, um, maybe like taking a risk in some way. Um, well, it'll get more clear as I pull more cards. Can I have a card that represents Capricorn's person in this connection at this time, please? Capricorn's person in this connection at this time, please. Ten of Cups. Oh my God, Capricorn. They love you. They love you. 
The bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. So um, this doesn't have to be the case. Um, again, this isn't gender specific. Um, this is just energy, you know, so it could be male, female, any other gender. Um, but I think your person is ready. Like the, the King of Wands or the Father of Wands in this deck is a man of action. Like I love the lightning bolt here. We have the lightning bolt here. Like moves are being made, like changes are being... Um, changes are happening, like whether you like it or not, Capricorn. And it seems to be really, really positive. Like, I think this person is kind of in that fool energy. Like, I think they're ready to take the leap towards you, Capricorn. They love you. They see you as their complete emotional fulfillment. This card is, it, it's my favorite card in the deck, if you've been watching my readings for a while, because it's the happily ever after. It's the perfect family, happiness, like radiating joy and just gratitude and optimism. That's the Ten of Cups. And I think this person sees you as like a new beginning for them, like a new life, like, and they're ready for it full force. Um, but I see Capricorn that maybe you are a little cautious or a little, um, yeah, just, just a little, um, still, I guess, like, like you're kind of holding things as they are, um, with the seven of wands. Like it's, I'm having a hard time putting words to it. It's like this person is embracing the lightning. They're embracing the rapid change. Um, and it, it's not right or wrong. Um, but it does seem Capricorn that it would benefit you at this time to maybe just kind of let things unfold, like let things change. Um, and, and if this is kind of a resistance, um, of this person's like love and optimism and wishful thinking when it comes to the two of you, um, maybe just work to let that go a little bit because I think this person has only the best intentions with you. Um, and they, I mean, they want you. They know what they want. They're ready to make moves toward it, Capricorn. This is beautiful. This person loves you. Um, okay. Can I have a card that represents um, Capricorn's person's feelings towards them at this time. Wow, the cards just got kind of sticky. Um, Capricorn's person's feelings towards them, please. How does Capricorn's person feel about them? The Hermit. Okay, this is Virgo's card. Um, the bottom of the deck is Justice, which is Libra's card. This is very interesting. Um, Okay, so I think this person, like, feels that maybe it's possible that, that you aren't um, in a commitment with this person, but, uh, you know, that does not have to be the case, you know, but the hermit can represent a single person, someone going it alone. Um, I think this person sees you as someone who takes a little bit of time to um, adjust to change or to maybe embrace um, love. Uh, for some of you, you know, like, like letting someone in, I think they see you as someone who's careful about who they let in. Um, you know, because the hermit is someone who takes that time to like really feel things out. They take that time to themselves to really let their intuition guide them. Um, and I think that's how this person views you, which is a, a, in a very positive light with justice here. It's funny because I was talking about my little sister who, um, is a Capricorn. Um, and yeah, she, I, a lot of times, like at certain points in her life, um, I have justice represent her in my readings for her or where she shows up in my readings. Um, and it's, it's funny because I feel like that's actually very fitting for her, the hermit as well, but justice, um, is very fitting for her because she has a very strong, like moral compass. Like she knows right and wrong. Like anytime I have a question regarding my tarot business or like moves surrounding people when I'm kind of uncertain of where they are, or, you know, sometimes I have really lax boundaries that's like one of my main lessons in life. I think that's one of my huge like karmic lessons is to learn how to like be more like this, like stand my ground and like, um, own what I want and to not be so, um, giving to others to my own detriment. Um, but my little sister, like that's one of those things I just deeply admire about her. Also like my, like one of my longest oldest friends is a Capricorn. She's amazing. And that was another thing that I really admired about her was like, she knew right and wrong. Like she knew it's, it's like they almost always have the answers. This person admires you so much Capricorn. Like, like they see you as their ultimate happiness. They, I mean, God, they love you. They love you. 
Um, something interesting here. Um, so first of all, justice is usually 11 in the tarot, but in this deck, the wild unknown, it's number eight. It's switched with strength and strength is 11. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but I always, I always find that interesting. But you have eight, eight here, Capricorn. And another thing I wanted to point out was you have seven, eight, nine, ten. Not sure what that means, but I thought it was cool. Um, this person thinks so highly of you. Like, they think the world of you, Capricorn, in my opinion. They think that you have, like, this incredibly strong moral compass. Like, you always know the right thing to do. Um, and I think they also think, like, they think that, like, you... Like, what's sticking out to me right now, Capricorn, is, like, this lone flame on the Hermit, and then this lone flame here from this seventh wand. It's like, they think that you shine brighter than others. That's one thing that I'm hearing in my head. But another thing that I'm hearing is they, like, you are not afraid of doing the right thing, even if it goes against what other people do. If that makes sense, like, like you know what's right for you, and you do it, even if it is different or unlike how others would handle the situation. They, I also feel like they think that, like, how you are, like, such, so strong in your individuality, I think they feel like that, like, there's a lot they can learn from you. Like, they feel like you really balance them out. And earlier, um, this is funny because this stuck up, this stuck out to me. Earlier, I was saying that they feel like you are like the world to them. Like you are everything that they've ever wanted. Um, and then I see the world here, you know, and a black and white cat. It's like they feel like you are kind of their perfect match. Like they're equal but opposite. It's, it's wonderful. Um, okay, so how does Capricorn feel about their person? How does Capricorn feel about their person? Five of Swords. And the Fool again at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay. This is a very clear message, and I heard it when I got the Five of Swords, and then I saw the Fool again, and that was just, like, validation for me um, on this interpretation. So the Five of Swords is a card of, like, self-destructive habits, like getting in your own way. Because there are five swords here, and this worm is actually cutting itself in half with this worm. Or with this sword. The worm is cutting itself in half with this worm. No, um, but it's actually, like, it's cutting itself in half with its own sword. It's, like, getting in its own way or, like, sab sabotaging um, being whole or having w exactly what it wants. <clears throat> and I feel like you kind of have this... Oh, Capricorn, I, I feel like you're being really hard on yourself right now. That was the first words that came to my head when that came out. Like, I feel like you're being hard on yourself. <clears throat> this person views you so positively, but I think that you, um, like, view yourself as, like, what I'm hearing in my head is, like, I don't usually curse in these videos, but, like, I I'm gonna fuck this up. Like, I have the perfect thing, and I'm gonna fuck this up. Um, I think you have a lot of fears of what it takes to, like, really take a chance on this person. Um, I could be way off about that, but that's, that's what I'm getting here. What are the mutual feelings in Capricorn's connection with their person? The mutual feelings between Capricorn and their person. The Wheel of Fortune, 1010 here, Capricorn. Wow. Bottom of the deck is Temperance. Oh my god. Okay, so that's Sagittarius's card. First of all, let me just say this. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, I think, in the traditional Rider Waite, if I'm, I feel like I'm like 99% sure of this. I haven't used my Rider Waite in a while. <laughs> Otherwise, I would grab my deck and confirm it, but it's in my room. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, I do believe, has an angel on it. And Temperance is an angel um, transmuting the energies, like creating alchemy by combining the two cups of love. Like in the you know, in the Two of Cups. If you know the card that I'm talking about, it's like two equal people coming together um, and it's and it literally represents shared feelings, mutual feelings, equal feelings. Um, it's, a, it's a card of love. It's finally meeting like that person, like that ideal, like perfect match. Um, and Temperance is the angel that really works to bring those two together. What I love here is that, like, you both recognize that this is a divine connection. 100%. Um, you have, like, like I think you both see, like, the divinity here. There is 
my god there is so much change happening here like fives are change the eight of wands is change and the wheel of fortune is change like things are shifting in this connection and this person i think like only has like the most positive like um like like their expectations are so positive of the potential of this connection um but again like this cycle of of how things have been with this person is closing out and i do see like some fear on your side capricorn and i think that's where this resistance is coming from like i think you're a little afraid of how this connection is shifting like it's possible that this person wants to get more serious um or it's possible that this person has kind of expressed how they feel a little more than t you know usual it's also possible that like external forces are changing outside of the two of you and i think you're a little afraid afraid that it might change things that it might like either pull the two of you apart or bring the two of you closer together depending on what your fears are capricorn you'll know <laughs> in your situation but truthfully all it's doing is is healing the two of you it's it's bringing you closer together and this person has zero doubts about you capricorn like they they view you so positively um but you have so many doubts in yourself um very interesting. Yeah, another thing I wanted to point out was, I mean, you have the nine and ten of the major arcana. Um, like I was saying, justice is actually eight in this deck. So you had the eight, nine, and ten. You and this person are helping one another grow. Um, in like, like I was talking about how like one of my main karmic lessons, right, is like learning how to set boundaries and how to be stronger in myself, in my like um, sense of self. Um, and like being less inclined to kind of bend for others um and what i see here capricorn is like it might not be that lesson specifically but i feel like the two of you are helping show one another um how you can become stronger in your sense of self like you each are you like i was saying this is a divine connection like you each are put on one another's paths to help grow and to help one another grow and to help one another evolve into the people that you're meant to be this is so beautiful this is probably my favorite so far um this in gemini's uh which is funny because my sister is connected with the gemini right now um okay all right so what are the um what is the main block to this connection please the main block to capricorn's connection with their person right now king of cups expressing how you feel um knowing how you feel you could be dealing with a water sign uh cancer scorpio or pisces but you don't have to be um again like this isn't gender specific temperance is at the bottom of the deck again yeah it's it's really like um going out on that limb and kind of like expressing that you each love one another like you each see like this deeper divine purpose to your love um and you, and I mean, there's no way that the two of you aren't feeling an intuitive pull to one another. Like, there's no way. Not with the divinity that's happening here. Like, like all the cosmic circumstances bringing the two of you together. But I think it's really admitting those feelings and owning them, I think, is, is probably scaring both of you. Um, because this person feels so strongly for you. Like, this is the kind of energy of, like, I I'm going to go marry Capricorn. <laughs> they, they might not be in that, but I think they see that kind of a future with you, Capricorn. And I think you have this self-doubt, like, this fear. Like, like, you don't have the faith in yourself that you deserve, Capricorn. Like, like you're not going to mess this up. Like, let your heart lead you, and you won't get in your own way. Yes, it's scary. God, it's scary. But, um... But Capricorn, you have something beautiful here. You have something truly divine here, in my opinion. Um, okay, so Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and use my other deck here. Okay. Um, what advice do you have for my Capricorns and their connection at this time? Ace of Swords, honesty, Capricorn. Be honest. Look, we have a divine counterpart. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, Capricorn. This is your soulmate. Um, it, it, 
you know, I, I don't know if you subscribe to this belief, Capricorn, but I do, um, that, you know, we don't all have twin flames. There are certain soul tie connections. Let me start there. Some people have, you know, some people are karmic partners, which are people that we agreed to reincarnate on this earth with so that they could teach us really difficult lessons, um, often really painful. And those connections aren't meant to last forever. Like they're very, they're usually supposed to be short term. Um, you know, we learn the lessons, we get out of the pain and we heal from it and we look back on it and it's made us into a better person. Um, and then we have, you know, there are twin flame connections. Not all of us have a twin flame connection. Um, but you know, that's where it's one soul split into two bodies and it's characterized by a chaser and a runner, you know, if you don't know. And then we have soulmates and soulmates, um, are basically just someone that we have that like divine soul purpose with. And I personally believe, and I, you know, some people believe this, but not all, that we don't just have one soulmate. Like there are multiple soulmates that we can encounter in our lives. And some of them were meant to be with forever and some of them were not. But no matter what, there was a divine purpose behind each of those connections with each soulmate. And for me, Capricorn, long story short, sorry for the tangent. Um, this is a soulmate for you. I think there is some kind of a divine connection here. Um, but with the divine counterparts, the queen of cups and the king of cups, you both love one another equally. There is equal love here, but I see quite a bit of fear on your side, Capricorn. And this person doesn't have that same level of fear. I, I mean, they probably have some of it. Um, but I do see that they're just very certain about you. And, um, there's a level of needing to kind of embrace that um, and be honest with this person. I mean, if, if you're not ready to express your love for them, maybe express your fears of expressing, of being vulnerable in that sense. Because I think this person would be very understanding of that. This, like, I don't think you could do anything to change how this person feels about you, Capricorn. Like, this person loves you in a very unselfish, unwavering kind of way. It's beautiful. Okay. What is the most likely outcome for Capricorn and their person? Temperance. <laughs> it came out in the other deck. Yeah, like, there's healing. Like, this angel is going to come in and bring you two closer. It's going to heal the two of you. Um, King of Wands, again. Eight of Pentacles, yes, so you have eight, eight, eight here, Capricorn. Um, I forget what that means, but I know it means something, and I can't believe I keep forgetting these because they're like, I, I look them up sometimes in readings because I know there's a message there, and this time I know there's a message. Eight, love. Let's look that up. Attracting a positive and healthy relationship. Interesting. It could also be an indicator of a twin flame because of the infinity symbol. But for me, the infinity symbol is just more um, confirmation of a soul tie uh, with the eights. So I really, I just think you and this person have some sort of a soul tie. Um, and the Ten of Cups. Oh my God. Oh my God, Capricorn. With a little work, um, going out on a limb to some degree, um, and just kind of letting, like leaning into the change and letting the divine lead you, but being totally transparent with this person about any fears, about any feelings. And that takes some self work. Like I'm not trying to just gloss over that. You and this person, you got the 10 of cups twice, Capricorn. This, I think this person is the, they at least have the potential to be your forever person. Like you could have a mar you could get married, you could have kids. Um, definitely the type of person you would move in together with. Um, yeah. And the six of pentacles here, it's basically saying like invest in this person now, like because, and, and be honest, like this person I think would be very accepting and understanding of any fears or concerns. And I think they would squash them if you address this with them because they are so certain of you Capricorn. Again, you have 10, 10, 10 here with the Wheel of Fortune, the 10 of Cups twice. Um, so this incredible cycle is now coming to a close and you're, you know, being offered a new start. It's just going to take a little bit of um, trust. That's really, that's the word I'm hearing is trust, Capricorn. Have faith that the divine isn't going to lead you astray here. You are 
meant to be with this person at the very least right now, but this is giving me like forever soulmate energy. Um, this was beautiful, Capricorn. Absolutely beautiful. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I'm just going to leave it here. If this reading resonated with you and you liked it, um, like the reading, comment, you can claim the reading if you want. Um, I love when you guys like tell me how this relates to your life and how it actually like fits into your story. That is fascinating. And all of you just have amazing energy. So I just love talking to you. Um, and if you like the way that I read um, and want to support me and my channel, um, subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like a personal reading with me or just have questions about like what that would entail, I'm more than happy to answer any questions and I will put my email in the description box. You can message me there. All right, Capricorn, I love you so much. This was beautiful and I will see you in the next one.